Hey guys, and welcome back to Crew Outdoors. So today, we're here in Wyoming, and we have a couple doe tags. So I have two doe tags, doe tags, Jameson has two doe tags, and uh, my dad and sister each have two also. So total, we're going to be able to kill eight antelope, which would be awesome if we could fill all those tags. So my weapon of choice today is going to be my Mossberg 30-06. My dad's hunting with a 270. I'm hunting also with a 270, and my sister is hunting with a CZ, like... 527. So, yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, it should be a pretty interesting video. We'll try and get some great footage for you guys. Just coming in yesterday, we saw tons of antelope. There's there are a lot out there. They've got to be in the exact right spot exactly when we're there. So, I don't know. It should be interesting. Let's see if we can get one. Get him? Yeah. Nice. That one halfway down the hill is a doe. No. Nice, James. Alright guys, so yeah, I tagged out on an antelope within like 30 minutes, it's crazy. We've been here for like half a day before this and we scouted out a little bit, we didn't see a lot. And then just today, there's a little herd of antelope up on this hill. And I went and I got her, she dropped right where she stood, it was super fast and super quick. It's, it's so weird, it's like mind boggling that one of my tag is filled. Usually it takes, you usually get, you get a couple tries. Anybody that tells you this, the antelope, even though they seem easy to stalk on, sometimes they aren't. And hey, we just lucked out this time and we got her. So, I'd say that's a half a mile. Yeah.
Okay, guys, so as you guys just saw, my dad just pigged one over there, and Stanley shot one, and then it ran away a little bit, and then he shot it, and then he shot it again. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get that on video, but he's standing over it right now, so I'm going to walk over there and see it. My dad said it was way bigger than mine, so <laughs> hopefully. And I think my dad got a pretty good sized one, too. But that just leaves my sister. It's crazy. It's like three antelope in less than an hour. It's nuts. It's going to be tons of work, but it'll be cool. Tons of meat. Let's see you there. Alrighty, guys. Well, I, I, got, I got it done. I made it happen. I don't know how much of you guys saw that um, on the video but or what kind of footage we got. But, yeah, so me and my dad snuck up there on this little herd of antelope. My dad took the first shot, and I don't think he exactly dropped it. But it just ran a couple feet, and it was, it was a pretty clean kill. Um, so then his went down, and the other ones just trotted off like a couple feet and decided to stay. So then I used my backpack as a rest, and I got on the next one. And this one was hanging down a little bit from the rest of the herd, so I decided to shoot at this one. And so me and my dad got down here as fast as we could because we wanted to make it um, not suffer. So we got down here as fast as we could, found it lying right here, put another bullet in him, and he, she was down. So... Yeah, it's a really fat doe. She's pretty old. She actually doesn't even have any top teeth. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of weird. She's got um, bottom teeth, but no top teeth. So, she's pretty old. But yeah, seems like a good doe. I had to put a couple bullets in her, but I think it was, I think it was all good in the end. So, we're going to get her cleaned up. My dad is heading over um, to go clean up his doe and probably butcher that one. Because what we're doing is we're just going to quarter them out in the field and leave the rib cage, leave the, um, and then we chop off the legs at the joint and we leave the bottoms of the legs, skin it, and then take everything else. So, yeah, should be good. I'm going to get a ton of meat off her. Hopefully get some jerky, get some roasts. Sounds good. All right. Well, we're going to get her cleaned up and hopefully Ariana can get one next. All right. Sounds good. All right, guys, so we made it back to our motel right now. Um, it is about 1 o'clock, so we're just taking, like, a little bit of a break. We just ate some lunch. Bologna sandwiches are great. Now we're going to head back out, probably to our other area. Um, we shot three antelope this morning, which was awesome. I shot one, Jameson shot one, and my dad shot one. So hopefully you guys were able to see that, and it was pretty good, pretty good footage. Um, we're still trying to get Ariana one. But, yeah, so it was a pretty eventful morning, and hopefully I can see the same tonight. So, all right, stick all right, with it. guys, so right now we actually, um, we're driving down the road, and we saw some antelope. So we wanted to ask this landowner if we could um, come and shoot the antelope on his property. And he was pretty cooperative, and he said that we could go down and shoot the antelope in his beet field. So that's what we're heading down to do. I don't know how many of us, how many of us are going to get shots or whatever, but hopefully it'll be good. There's probably about 30 antelope down there. Yeah, there's a lot, so hopefully we can make it happen. All right, guys, so I actually just limited it out. Um, sorry, it was really a, just a big rush. That dude let us onto his property. We all went. Um, I made two shots this time, both offhand, and got her down. It's a really mature, fat doe. My dad was actually able to harvest the doe also. So we're just going to get to work skidding her out, put her on ice as fast as we can, and should make should make some great meat. So.